Sorry. Hi everyone, I'm Gloria Limos Chavez. And I'm Brandon King. And we're the Morning Party. A black metal band, two member black metal band, um, located in New York State, upstate. We've been playing together for like two years. We both have been playing music and been into music for like for like 20 years. Mm -hmm. Me, right? Right, like, right yes. Similar. Philadelphia punk in the 90s and you. Mexico City area, um, the black metal scene and things like that. Yeah. Trash metal, very strong, <laughs> yeah. yeah. So we're influenced by like crust punk, but and definitely modern DSBM, like some of the bands that are killing us right now, right? Right, like uh, Morcifera, Nocturnal Depression. Yeah. Mutilation this, this always. <laughs> Yeah. Lurker of Chalice, all <laughs> yeah. that shit. We're heavily sadness influenced by that. And... Like sadness is badass. Oh my god, yeah. Yeah, so many good out there. So we're influenced by all those bands. That's a little bit about ourselves. We're working on a new album. We did a demo, right? Right, we had a release on April, um, Seasons in Sorrow. And uh, yeah, April of this y last year. Wait, what? Yeah, not yeah. this year. <laughs> wow. I know. The this months time. have been ages. These times. Eons in these times. Yeah, it's crazy. Anyway, so we um, we released that album in April and like check it out, Seasons in Sorrow. Um, and now we're working in what we hope to be an EP or just a, a full album. Yeah. Right? But we are really excited with the changes that we... Um, the progressions, I believe, we have been making and discoveries and... Yeah, we got several songs in the works, some like semi-recorded. We're going to share a little bit, a little bit of snippet of something we're working on right now. Gloria's taking over, playing drums manually as opposed to my electronic drumming. <laughs> and it has this level of organicness to the to the sound that I think is fucking that round, awesome. as you know, like a real, <laughs> like a real toca, a real yeah. play, you know. So we're recording an album and we're excited to share that with you a lot. Yeah. So that next song, or from the next question, was about why did we choose the roots for logo oh yeah that was inspired primarily on the uh, in the context of what the design came from it's uh we were hiking in the woods in our backyard and it's we live in a location where it's full of like um canyons gorges rivers creeks and so it's really diverse with roots and um you took that photo i believe and yeah. From that, I like was fascinated of with how intricate everything is, and then the name of um, the morning party fit perfectly, made by the roots. But also, you had like the vision of coming back to roots, our, our musical roots. Oh yeah, roots. Well, and I think like it's a metaphor of uh, exposing the like the root of ourselves, you know, like the music we make is all about exercising or this catharsis of emotions, particularly around like depression and anxiety and angst, right? Mental illness, you know, struggles, <laughs> life that, you know, like all of the struggles that life gives you as an adult. Yeah, things that we know a lot about and have a ton of experience with. We push that into the music we make. Yeah. And as long as we stay true to that, it comes out on the other side and it's sounding good, I think. Yeah. yeah, definitely. So the next question was about why the album looks so oppressive and you did the artwork for the album too. I did. I I didn't mean it. Well, I, no, yes, bullshit. I did want it to be dark, you know, because Seasons, of, seasons, seasons in Sorrow is like that, you know, imagine not a period you know not a few days but season is like something that it's been lingering for a while and that's that's what the name of the uh, album is just precisely because we have past experiences that are like hurtful or sorrowful or shit that we have to have gone through in life like all of you guys out there too um mm -hmm. that that to me like felt like a very long time and for some reason, um, I have this figure of the dead woman that happened to be a picture of my, mom, my mother shared. Um, oh, she doesn't yeah. know she's there. Mother death. <laughs> yeah. But um, I thought it was like really fascinating, like really cool looking. And then there's this. Oh, yeah. Photo. So I, uh, 
was on a trip to Scotland, northern Scotland, and visiting th this castle, supposedly where Macbeth, I guess, is, is based, but they had a dungeon, a medieval dungeon, and I took this photo down the hallway that had like a little bit of graffiti in it. Then you placed Mother Death at the end of this hall, you know, yeah. and it's true, you can't, you know, you can't get around her, and it reminds me of like nightmares I had as a kid, which I think also like our theme of our music is yeah. like the, the nightmares of like all the... Right. But also, you know, when, when you gave me that photo and before I placed the that woman person, um, I I was playing with Photoshop a little bit, like dim and delight and shit. And in the original photo, you can see the end of the hole. You can see what's behind. It's like infinite dark. But then when I removed some of that darkness and clarified the photo a little, I saw that the walls look like yellow walls you know like mm -hmm. all rotten yellow walls and i was my intention was to result that from the wall so that you could see how rotten it is you know and, and it seems long and forever yeah and you can see if it's coming down or up or what the fuck and it's just like so suffocating yeah that what a season of sorrow feels like it's forever and <laughs> suffocating to me it personifies like just total doom which is a lot of the music that uh you know that we write about as the subject matter is like total mm -hmm. inevitable doom in many ways, you know? <laughs> mm -hmm. So the process of recording our album Seasons and Sorrow, like just to talk a little bit about our process, you know, it's this true collaborative effort, which is awesome, right? But one of us will start with a tune and then the other one lays another instrument on top of that, right? Mm -hmm. Right, it has to be like, if you start putting the song together, then you put the lyrics to the song, and That's true. Um, now it's just like I add the drums to it and the yeah. um, production. You know, I help with that a little bit too. And then when I start putting my own tunes, it's always coming from a place of like some type of feeling that I've been dragging that I can get rid of, and, um, and the only way to do it is like start like putting the stone in my head together, coming around, around and then attaching that fucking feeling yeah. into the song <laughs> and that's how I release whatever needs to be released and we do it together it's crazy you know <laughs> it's like it is like therapy for sure like yeah. you know we reach into some shit that fucked us up like some some death some suicide you know some grief and we've had a lot of that in our shared lives and and that plus the daily not you know like that for sure yeah the pain of that for sure but, but the persistence of every day that shit that just the bullshit that you see every day breaks like, you down yeah and tv or yeah. like news and ah. fuck that shit <laughs> and that's why the community like uh, online community and like the community of artists online that are sharing and particularly like the ethic of DSBM, that DIY, like it's so similar to Krusty Punk and shit, and it's like it's no really bullshit, awesome. it's just real. And uh, you can you feel know, it. Yeah, you exactly. You can really feel it. Yeah. And we try to tap into that too, you know, and that's part of that's our process is basically to just be like cave people and tap into that primal thing and then translate it to music. And true to ourselves too, I think yeah. that's what it's that's so what fun. so much stuff out there is so good because it's so true to yourself. So we are so glad that we can share this with you guys too. Yeah. And that shit feels good. So we also encourage you too, if you feel like us and you have that, that angst, that fucking grinding you, you know, there's like definitely some way to express that shit and get it out and make yourself feel better because uh, that helps. Mm -hmm. So the next question was about your Rona and oh, like yeah. how that could possibly have several meanings. <clears throat> right. Mean you, so like, you wrote it. Right. Right. So I, I didn't write it. Oh, sorry. You I didn't write it. it. I, right. Like, I didn't write yes. it. I just used uh, a song that is a folklore song from Mexico. And yes, um, so the question that we received asked, why did I chose those few verses? Because I think I did six only. And Jorona, like if you Google and see the verses, there's like so many variations. And But because it's folklore and we really nobody knows who wrote it, where it came from, it's just people started sharing it in small towns and things like that from the 1800s, the time of the revolution. Um, I just wrote the ones that I remember from my childhood and from my life in Mexico. Um, and what I mean is not necessarily that I hear it all the time, but mm -hmm. just like what I remember having a memory of Mexico and my and the culture, my experiences right. there. Yeah. 
is basically about a despondent woman who drowns her children right. and then can be heard howling through the streets so mm -hmm. which i find you know remarkably similar to the banshee ghost of like the screaming howling woman too like and that's pain like that's you know yeah pain being right expressed so through, right 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 thanks the second part of what i like wanted yeah. to work with that song specifically out of all of the beautiful music of the that you can find is that I she mourns forever the the loss of her children she went insane her husband didn't come back from this is a myth okay like nobody really knows <laughs> but um, everybody in Mexico knows what the Yorona is and so um, she drowned her kids out of despair and then after awakening of her rage or whatever was going on um, she realized what she's done and so supposedly you can hear her mourn in the streets you know the empty street of small towns or like in the woods or mountains or whatever and like everybody knows either a person that claimed that saw her mm -hmm. or you know heard yeah, her yeah, yeah. or somebody that knows somebody i don't know um but i chose that one specifically because uh, it's been a long time since i left my land and i haven't been able to yeah. well now i could potentially go back but um, it took a very long time for me to be able to go back and that felt like that felt like I was mourning that the patch or the same long sadness of you know longing I guess yeah yeah so that's, that's and why. by the way like you know fuck nationalism that keeps people <laughs> from being able to go where they grew up where their you know homeland is fuck all that shit so <laughs> next question um decompose and grace and you know and like the subject matter which comes from like a very personal story around here you know we we know some kid that took his life he was like a, he was a young teenager he was a friend of the family you know really badass kid who like could not handle the insanity of the world you know and 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 had a lot of trouble with it like you know particularly around like climate change and the shootings School that were occurring shootings, in school yeah. like mm -hmm. That shit fucked that boy up because he was a sensitive person, the kind of person that this world needs. And he a took his life. Boy, definitely. Oh, yeah. Responsible, you know, yeah. kind, cool. Yeah. You know, cool, a cool kid. What a shame, you know, and like there's so, for someone who's, who's got like suicidal thoughts related to that, because like that's, you know, that is the uh, empathy I have for that person and, and their feeling about the difficulties of life and, and how much uphill there is to climb to get to a good place you know it is worth doing because the world needs all the good people it can get because it's full of shitty stupid people mm. that's for sure and if you got to find one reason to like stay alive it's to fight that stuff you know and be true to yourself you know fight it with love <laughs> yeah <laughs> yeah yeah right so and i remember the process right when it said, I knew there was going to be a song because yeah. that experience was, and it's still very intense. You know, it's, it's, it was, it shook all of us at home. So it was like a very intense one. And I remember just being in the studio recording up here actually, and feeling that, right? Yeah. Like I, I knew immediately. And so I could, I could attach to that to mourn with you and mourn, you know, you like gave me escape for that like ask the question right yeah so the next the next song is about Plagaria and you wrote the music and the lyrics to that song and to me like I you know I feel it too just as the question says that there's this feeling of separation um from anxiety and just that that fucking release Can you talk a little bit about that song yeah so Plagaria I really I really pour my heart into it um, and it's Ligaria more than me I feel like more than me writing it it wrote itself inside me and at some point um, I wasn't I wasn't in touch with myself like I didn't touch a guitar for years you know like I was living a life to please those that um, I loved you know and trying to do what I was told that was the way to do and things like that but it was it was killing me inside it felt like um i remember this vivid 
vivid feeling and not knowing what it really was you know it like a um a tiger that is in a cage and just walking back and forth in my chest mm -hmm. <laughs> you know and yeah. then like and that with in conjunction with like a bird that is chained into the ground with a chain and it's trying to fly away and it's just that and plagaria is is the realization that me relieving myself from suffering because something had to something had to change or i i was just about wanting to not continue you know mm -hmm. and so i had to break it i had to i had to break people's hearts i had to break uh -huh. all of that and that plegaria is the uh, morning again you know that's why we're the morning party i guess um of plegaria is all of that morning of knowing that i had to make a choice to for me for my children for my family immediate family I have to make a hard choice so that I can continue to be with my little ones or you know things like that so that's <laughs> that's that's what you're feeling there in this song <laughs> so basically fuck religion fuck dogma right be true to yourself lead with love fuck people except for the ones you love <laughs> <laughs> no but be kind <laughs> just you know sure in not. theory fuck them kindly yeah this is staying in the interview. Absolutely. <laughs> oh my god. Okay. No, so basically, <laughs> fuck religion and fuck dogma and all that shit that kept you down. We both had fundamentalist backgrounds. I got out early for sure, but it, you know, long enough to definitely leave an impression. And and so between the two of us, basically, we have a um, never ending well of access yeah. to insanity to write. Right, and, tunes from, so. and our growing up's experiences too yeah. were like really rough. So yeah, from those two, I think we can and life. Yes, right, like yeah. it's been fucking fucking. I up. know. Oh. <laughs> anyway. Shit's hard. So obviously, we constantly write and play music because it helps to get through all this shit, right? So we it's are a, healthy already, way a few to songs. Yeah. We've got a few songs written and started to record already. So we'll have another album out in a couple months. Lots of people are doing that shit right now when they're all <laughs> fucking locked up in the pandemic, right? Oh, God damn it. Good kids are doing it. Oh, uh, yeah. Everybody's doing it, doing it, doing it. Album out in three months, months, months. Shit, sit. It's real. Anyway, thank you for having us. Yes, thank you so much. And please, like, reach out to us, connect with us, um, collaborate with yeah. us. Clarice on the S of, S of DSBM. Thank you so yeah, much. You rock. Thanks yeah. a lot. Yeah. Love it. See y'all.